my name is David Ardashti and having a clinic in uh, Playa and we are a research center. Uh, we treat people for well-being as also for uh, addiction. Uh, here Jody Grant happened to be a man that uh, has gotten stuck with the uh, drugs and then Go ahead and tell your story and tell me tell what, what happened. I, I, I was actually in an accident and uh, got put on a pain medicine and then uh, after everything got fixed, uh, they put me on Subutex, told me, or Suboxone, same thing, whatever. Uh, they told me uh, I wouldn't be on it very long. Uh, hell, that was worse than the, the, or the opiates. And uh, coming off of it, trying to come off of it was worse. And... Uh, I came down here to Cancun and uh, did this ibogaine treatment. I didn't know what I was getting into. I mean, I mean, it's 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 scary, but you know, do it. I mean, it uh, it works. It worked for me, man. That's all I can tell you. Is it worked for me. It was kind of hard on me because the subutex is bad, but I didn't take the booster. I probably should have took the booster. And then I was sick right before I came here, but I was, I'm hard-headed and decided I was going to come anyway. So uh, if you come down, I, I just want to stress to you, try to make sure you're, you're in good health. That way, if your stomach, you know, my stomach was messed up. Make, just make sure you're in good health and come down. And I, I, I think you should take the booster. I mean, yeah, you come I, in. You come in next week with your wife, anyway, for the first. Yeah, time. well, I'm, so, it might not be next week, but we we'll, we're coming back in in a couple of weeks. So uh, you get the booster then. Yeah. Yeah. And the yeah. way that how many years were you on Subutex? I was on Subutex for about four years and opiates. Everything started in 2002 when I got hurt at work, and uh, it, I went from the opiates and I've always taken my medicine just the way they say it and I, I even take less but it don't matter you, I, I try to wean myself off the subutex and I get down to that little little big piece and you just you just couldn't do it man it's just uh, it's too hard I mean and then life has to go on you have to set you have to set some time back for yourself if you don't set time back for yourself to get well then you're just gonna keep Leading, if you don't make the change, everything's going to stay the same. Are you spending the money on the, on the drug? And I spent it about six hundred dollars <coughs> on, on <coughs> doctors and four hundred, uh, four hundred on uh, the subutex or suboxone. Can, can you think your people can get off? I'm gonna go buy me a boat, man, huh? No. <laughs> you think really people can get off? They tell them that they, you go on methadone or suboxone or subutex for, for a couple of weeks. Man, I, I'm gonna be straight with you. If you're a pussy, stay home. You know, if you want to get off of it, come do it. That's that's all I can tell you. If you want to make a change, come do it. It it, it works. I mean, it's uh, I've been in rehabs. And I, I made the motherfuckers let me out because uh, it, it's crazy in there. Everybody here, they they watch after you. I mean, it, it's it's just somebody's always there. If, if like there's a cook, if you need something to eat, they're always there to tend to you. There's there's a maid, and she's there to tend to you. You got a nurse, you got a doctor. Everybody's nice to you. They're not holding you hostage or anything. You can you can do what you want to do. It, it, but you gotta want it. That's all I can say. You know. That was the word. Thank you so much. You're and welcome. Have, have a good trip back, back to Texas. And thank you very much. <laughs>